Good morning, everyone. I would like to start my presentation with my PhD topic: Complementary and Alternative Chinese Medicine in Pediatric Oncology. My name is Shi Meng Li. My supervisor is Miklos Garimi, and my SMS are Xin Yitian and Mark Hinadofri. My statistician is Gergu Agosh. My vision is to improve the quality of life of pediatric oncology patients during and after treatment, and my mission is to confirm the efficacy of traditional Chinese medicine and promote the use of TCM complementary therapies. For this, I have two specific goals. The first is investigating the addition of complementary Chinese herbal medicine among pediatric oncology patients treated with conventional therapies. I would like to introduce some traditional Chinese medicine methods: acupuncture, manipulative therapy, cupping, and herbal medicine. My articles will only focus on herbal medicine, which was most commonly used in China. Chinese herbal medicine is a traditional practice based on the principles of traditional Chinese medicine. It uses natural substances and diagnostic techniques to create personalized formulas that promote health and treat illness. Since it's natural and personalized, it may offer a gentler and more holistic approach to pediatric healthcare than conventional medicine. The short, medium, and long-term side effects of cancer therapy in childhood is still an unresolved and equally investigated area. Chinese herbal medicine plays a positive role in regulating patients' immune system, which helps cancer patients to fight against cancer itself, and finally improves patients' life quality. Our aim is to investigate the effect of additional Chinese herbal medicine therapies in pediatric oncology. Our clinical question is: Does additional Chinese herbal medicine therapy change the effect and toxicity of conventional therapy in pediatric oncology patients? We have pediatric oncology patients as the population. The intervention is conventional therapy with additional Chinese herbal medicine therapy. The comparison is conventional therapy, and we are looking for its outcomes like effectiveness, toxicities, and side effects. Our hypothesis is. The additional Chinese herbal medicine therapy can improve survival rate and reduce the side effects and the toxicities of conventional therapy. This is my search key. I searched for Chinese databases and the three English databases. After the full test selection, we have eighty-one articles, and all of them are RCTs. I would like to introduce some main findings regarding the Chinese herbal medicine forms. There are a total of twenty-nine mixed prescriptions were found, and their main forms of application are oral, intravenous, gargle, and paste. From these prescriptions, I identified a total of one hundred and thirty-six different substances. Eighteen of them are listed in the EMA herbal monograph database. The lymphocytopenia is one of the most common and、uh, serious side effects of pediatric oncological treatments.、Uh, in case of lymphocytopenia, patients are more susceptible to infections, which、uh, which can、uh, which can lead to serious complications. To measure it, we can use surface markers of immune cells. Such as CD3, CD4, CD8 in case of T cells. There are、uh, there are fifty five articles included in the analysis. Subgroup analysis was performed based on the main cancer types such as lymphomas, solid tumors, and leukemias. On this、uh, analysis, we investigated the main differences between changes from baseline with、uh, in ZVs. Addition of Chinese herbal medicine and without Chinese、uh, herbal medicine groups. On my first forest plot, we investigated the main differences of CD3 percentages between changes from baseline with and without CHM.、Mm. So our result、uh, shows that、uh, the use of Chinese herbal medicine. 
um, resulted in at least 5% or higher percentages of CD3 T cells after oncological treatment. And uh, which uh, this result is was statistically significant in overall and in case of leukemia. On my second forest plot, we investigated the main difference of CD4 percentages between changes from baseline with and without Chinese herbal medicine. Our result, uh, CD4 uh, percentages measures the percentage of helper T cells among, uh, among all immune cells. Our results show that an overall increase of 5.6% in the percentage of CD4 um, after the oncological treatment um, with, with the use of Chinese herbal medicine. This result also show the statistically significant in overall and uh, in case of leukemias. On my third forest plot, we investigated the main difference, difference of CD8 percentages between changes from baseline with and without the Chinese herbal medicine. CD8 percentages uh, measures the uh, marker of the cytotoxic and uh, the result of CD8 is quite different with CD3 and CD4, which really surprised us. The results for the uh, group which used the Chinese herbal medicine were lower than the group without the Chinese herbal medicine. But um, the value of minus 2.64 uh, does not provide a strong pro uh, evidence. And now I'm working on the risk of bias. My second topic is safety and efficacy of turmeric, curcuma longa extract, and uh, curcumin supplements in malignant oncology disorders. Curcumin is a fat soluble polyphenolic pigment extracted from turmeric, an herb traditionally used in Chinese herbal medicine. Curcumin has a variety of biological activities, such as anti-inflammatory, antibacterial. It is safe and well tolerated in humans and has been used in several phase one or two clinical trials for the treatment of different tumors. It can inhibit a variety of tumors in vitro and in vivo, such as leukemia and, li and lymphoma. Our aim is to investigate the effect of addition of curcumin in pediatric oncology. Our clinical question is, does addition of curcumin to conventional patient therapy change survival and side effects in pediatric oncology? The population is pediatric oncology patients. The intervention is conventional therapy plus curcumin, and the comparison is conventional therapy and the outcome is like uh, our survival, event-free survival, disease-free survival, and side effects. Our hypothesis is the addition of uh, curcumin to conventional therapy improves survival and side effects on pediatric oncology. Thank you for your attention. I would like to close my presentation with a quote. Keep your face always towards the sunshine and the shadow will always fall behind you. So my question would be uh, regarding your second topic, does um, this cur curcumin has any side effects or? Uh... Well, uh, actually, um, it is very safe and um, uh, it's, I, I would say, almost no, since there are um, some articles, they use uh, the, the curcumin products uh, in the range of in the range of uh, in the range doses of four hundred milligram to four thousand milligram per day, and the the patients in those articles uh, don't have uh, didn't have any advertised uh, effects.
I just want to highlight for everybody, um, she is working with the um, Chinese and English database sets at uh, the same time, which is really unique. And uh, uh, she's already working with that MEA data set, which is a hard uh, uh, screening for the data. I would like to ask if you have found any publication bias uh, in the results, as most studies were uh, showing positive results, but was there any bias in, uh, in the results? Uh, sorry, can you... So the publication bias, uh, have you looked at it and the analysis? So you have presented the forest plots, but have you looked at funnel plots or uh, those kind of tests? Uh, I'm still on the stage of a uh, risk of bias, so I have don't have the result of it.